Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to continue pulling on a thread that I've been pulling on for a little while regarding data, transparency, and gaps that I see. In previous videos, I hit upon this idea that publishers should be much more transparent by releasing print run information, letting us know exactly how many comics have actually been printed. I personally, as a collector, would find that information to be extremely helpful. I honestly don't think that that's ever going to happen, but I still wish that it would. More recently, I have hit upon some of the gaps that exist with regards to the distribution information that has historically been available to us for decades. More specifically, how many actual comics are being sold to LCSs? That data that we've received for years is no longer something that we have access to. And that's happened because of the decentralization of the distribution of comics. We moved away from a single distributor to multiple distributors, and now none of those distributors are telling us how many comics are actually being shipped to LCSs. This is something that I think should absolutely be corrected and potentially will be because I hear that there are actually some conversations that are ongoing. Today, in this video, what I wanna hit upon is another data gap that I see. And this is something that I alluded to in a previous video. Right now, there are a lot of comics being sold on various platforms. And because of the decentralization of how comics are now being sold, I wonder about the quality and the validity of data that we actually get from pricing aggregators, specifically, pricing platforms that tell us how much money we should actually be paying for a comic. Now, this is not a criticism of those platforms. This is more about me raising the awareness of people to say, hey, this is something that you should think about, something that you should be aware of. There are a ton of pricing platforms out there, and I'm not gonna name any of them because, again, this isn't necessarily about them but there are a lot of pricing platforms out there that essentially scrape data from eBay and they clean this data up and turn it around and tell us what the fair market value is for a particular comic, whether it be raw or graded. Some of these pricing services pull in information from other auction platforms. Some of them pull in uh, private dealer information, but they present this back to us to let us know essentially what is a fair price to pay for a particular comic? But if you've been in the hobby for the last few years, you know that there has been a massive uptick in claim sales taking place on various social media platforms from Facebook to Instagram, a ton of claim sales. That data, to my knowledge, is not finding its way into any of the pricing services. There was a massive uptick in the number of platforms, websites that were also selling comics during the pandemic and also to this present day, data and sales that I don't think are finding their way into the pricing platforms. And because there is this decentralization of sales, I wonder about the quality of the pricing data that we are actually getting if most of these pricing services are pulling that data from eBay and there's a lot of transactions that are not taking place on eBay. Again, this isn't a criticism of those platforms, but what I am doing is raising the flag and saying, hey, you might need to think about this as a collector, investor, speculator, or just a regular comic book buyer. You, may, you should be aware that potentially the data that you're getting isn't a holistic picture. The other part of this is a, maybe a little bit of a, a challenge to the pricing platforms that are out there. It might be time to go beyond scraping data or having an API with eBay to looking at some of these other sales platforms and apps that exist. Maybe it's time to develop relationships with them to get some of that data so that you can have a more complete and accurate uh 
depiction of what's actually selling and how much these books are selling for. Again, not a criticism of anyone. If you have been paying attention to this channel for any length of time, it's important that you understand that the, the channel is all about helping the comic book community, helping us be all better collectors, investors, speculators, whatever it happens to be. And as part of that, we have to challenge some things. We just don't nod our head in agreement. We ask questions. We put things out there for consideration. And that's essentially what this video is. Maybe you've actually thought about this on your own. And if you have, sound off in the comment section. If this is something that you haven't thought about, but maybe now you're concerned about, sound off in the comment section. Maybe you're not even considering or are concerned about this in any way, shape or form. And that too is okay. But down in the comment section, let me know why you think that this isn't relevant. Because in my mind, this affects not just raw books, but it affects graded comics as well. It, it affects how much money I should pull out of my pocket to pay for a particular comic. And potentially right now, I'm getting a very narrow uh, illustration of how much I should pay. With that said, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I want to invite you to do so now. And if you want to reach out to me, you can do that on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. Before I let you go, if you are a comic book fan, a fan of indie comics, or fed up with the quality of stories being told by Marvel and DC, I want to invite you to check out my new comic called Marcus. Issue number one is dropping in October and I can tell you that the creative team behind this comic has done an amazing job of telling a fantastic story, both with the written word, but also with some amazing artwork. Again, the comic comes out in October, but show your love today by picking up a copy at swolgerpublishing.com link in the description and no you will not regret it this thing on my check i just want to make sure y'all can hear me clearly yeah should you practice art or should art be your practice i had a question so i asked it not to anyone specifically but to my inner god you know the one that's gonna be a master, the one that's more than a rapper, the one that's an educator, the one that seeks enlightenment. He travels with concepts, he's got the mindset expansive. He understands that it's time combined with travel and concepts, makes his mind convex. Sort of like when you look at a brain scan, straight off meditation, we was concaving until we had that eternal dialogue that created our dialect. Now we in distinct rooms of pure souls, having them conversations, synergy and combinations. You lie and we waiting, Indian style in the gold temple.